repair though is maximum 347 for my continuation of the beatdown of the dark aeons <laughs> uh, and I'm in a great mood today because I finally maxed out my sphere grid uh, getting all those MP spheres took forever um, well not actually forever it was actually pretty simple with Vendatu it was effortless thanks to Vendatu who's the upper one shot him but yep yeah, I got the achievement which I mean trophy so I maxed out from one party member and then four of the others Oh man, it took forever, but I did it. But today, we're actually facing off um, the Dark Aeon, which is actually around Mount Gagazet. So, but while we're in the mountain cave, well, we're actually going to do a little mini game first to get it to appear. But before that, we're going to the water. There we go. I don't want any random encounters. So, I think the mini game is around here. Basically, um, if you play Final Fantasy X, it's um, it's actually the same minigame we did before with that stupid ball of rock lads that you have to throw it. Here it is. Yep, this is it. It's in the same spot. This one's a little annoying to get through though. Ah, uh, nah. I stick with that weapon. It doesn't matter. Until I get out. Here we go. The Simless Trial. If you would face me, you must first face my trial. Use weapons wall to hit the center. And it's just like before, except this time it's a lot tougher. There are like two barriers, and if you do it wrong, you actually go into a random battle. So let's see. If I take too long doing this, I just air all my failures so I get it right. Damn it! And this happens, you get ambushed. But they're so powerful, it doesn't really matter. But yeah, this is what happens, it, it just thing sucks. <laughs> well, I didn't do max damage because I have no encounters on that ball. I switched weapons. Blah blah, I don't care. It, high potions! Hmm. Oh wait, no, I don't have auto potion, that doesn't matter. I was thinking of something else. That's fine. Uh, so yeah, I gotta wait for this to turn around, but also make sure that that center is okay now. Yes! Oh, I did it my second try. Oh wow, that's so awesome. And there, there he is. Dark anime. Hmm. No treasure this time. Alright, cool, whatever. So I'm going to meet you guys back at Mount Gagazet, near that base there. There's like a war pad there and stuff. So I'll see you guys then when we get there. It won't take too long though. And I am back. I actually saved off screen as well, because, well, I didn't want to do that stupid mini game again. You know, you only have to do it once. Once you save, you can come back here at any time and Animo should still be there. But, um, yeah, pretty self-explanatory. So we just get through the board, then Animo appears here. And you see these chains? Here he is. Now, in Dark Anima, you want at least one person with ribbon. In this case, Riku is recommended. I have two, which is great. But you do want one person with ribbon. You're also going to want a lot of remedies and holy waters too. So make sure you've done that before you begin this fight. And make sure you have a few healing waters as well. You definitely want other ingredients to use to make him um, Hyper Mighty G. Hopefully I do, um, I have that with the Hive Mighty G thing. Yeah, I should, um, be in good shape. But, uh, yeah, just in case I do something, I get killed or whatever, I make a mistake. I can at least really open this save and not have to do that mini game over again. I was so lucky to do that in my second try. But yeah, Dark Animal has a lot of health. Dark Animal has the most amount of HP of all the Dark Aeons. So why am I doing this one first? And before Dark Bahamut? No point in keeping it a secret now, the last one's going to be Dark Hammett. Dark Hammett also has quite a bit of health, but has another gimmick about him, which actually makes him tougher. Dark Enemy, for the most part, is just a giant slugfest of HP. You'll see soon enough. It's gonna, this is going to take a while. Here's Dark Anime. Okay, now for this fight, yeah, um... The thing here is that make sure you also have quite a few Mega Elixirs because her Overdrive Oblivion not only does um, normal damage 
but also um, get to avoid MP as well. So basically just some um, cricket spam for a while. Crazy thing though, she's like not very fast, she's quite slow. And when you do have a chance, you definitely want um walk as use the attack wheels. There we go. In fact, I have two people with ribbon on. This makes this fight um, even more of them um, less annoying. So that's great. Yeah, yeah Pierce has very high defenses though. I'm tempted to use um, um, Ultra Neural for extra strength, but there's no point when their overdrive is full. They don't have to put them all over again. So it's kind of pointless though in the end. Keep Riku's overdrive though when um, Anima's overdrive is almost full. So you can use Hyper Mighty G and stuff. Just in case. However, I will give Titus' overdrives to Waka so he can keep using attack wheels. Nope, here's Mega Graviton. And just like before, you will cause a bunch of status effects, like so. Yeah. So, uh, in that case, we must just use a remedy or a. Uh, or any sooner. Whatever the case is. End of attack wheels. There we go. Oh, I thought I missed that. I thought I missed it that time. But yeah, I also, this is why I also wanted a whole bunch of these uh, healing waters. There's just quite a bit of damage. Oh yeah, and I'm going to need to um, cure you as well. You're asleep, aren't you? Yeah, it's going to be like annoying. Like having two, only healing one though is much better than just two. Okay, and another quick hit. Uh, make it grab it on again. And again, I'm gonna have to use like a uh, remedy and stuff. Remedy sooner. Whatever. It's 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 your pick. What you want to do. And another healing water. Hmm. And quick it. Oh yeah, I better give you overdrive to Waka. You're gonna die in one turn. Yeah, it's Doom, so that pretty much also might kill him. But because I have Auto Phoenix, I can just give it straight back. Waka or Riku, then you should just revive him. So he's not into the world. But this is all it is, guys. The idea is until our overdrive is full. Ah, oh, dang it, I missed. This isn't going to do much. About 80 damage instead. Hmm. No. Uh, yep, death. Say, but Phoenix down. So it's all good. Ah, uh, yeah. When she does a normal attack, it does all those stat effects instead. Oh, Overdrive's almost full. Alright, it's time for um, Hyper Mighty G. Her Overdrive will pretty much kill us. It's, it's not even like um, if, but it's, it's just going to kill us. So, um, uh, let's see. Uh, Star Curtain. And, uh, let's see. And uh, Door to Tomorrow. Hyper Mighty G, here we go. Oh yeah, I forgot you're a zombie. <laughs> Get rid of that first with uh, Holy Water. It's why I have Holy Water as well for this. Here we go. And let's see, uh, sooner, whatever. 
Actually, I didn't really need that. I feel like I was going to get full anyway. Uh, I waste my turn doing that. Alright, hurry up and do it. Oblivion! Now, this move is going to be attacking our HP and our MP. Yeah, yeah. So, MP reduces zero, which means you can't use Cricket. But that's where um, <laughs> Megalixer comes in. Let's use that. This will guarantee you to fill up a way with guys, I'm sure. So, you can use Elixir or Megalixer. Yeah. No way we're going to survive that. It's just impossible. I think even if we have. I think we have to have max health for that, and it ain't worth it because we have um, Hyper Mighty G. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got Auto Life. Don't worry, it isn't like Saturn Matto. We can't. It won't negate Auto Life. Well, that would suck if that was the case. <laughs> there we go. And now we're all back to our normal selves again. Well, for the most part. Okay, this is where Megalixer comes in, which is to bring our HP and MP to full. This is mostly just for our MP, not to do with our HP or anything. Uh, let's see, and uh, attack roots. And this is basically the whole fight. Yeah, it's, it's going to get long and boring, uh, I'm not going to lie. So, I guess I can talk about a few things while I'm doing this. <laughs> One thing I do want to talk about, though, is... Uh, is, well, I did hear some news that Kingdom Hearts 1.5 and uh, 2.5 are actually coming out and uh, for the PS4. And I only have this to say. It, I'm not. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to buy those games for PS4. There's no point. I mean, why? I've already done the games over the PS3. Sure, they fix a few bugs, so maybe there might be any much of slowdown anymore, which is great, by the way. I have no problems with that whatsoever. But <sighs> it doesn't feel like much of a an incentive for me to just do that again. It just just doesn't this doesn't seem like a giant waste of time to me. So I don't really want to. Go for that game just because it's for the PS4 instead. Just no, no point really. And let's see, and another. Oh, wait a minute, I can fill up Rockers Overdrive again. I'll just do that. So, yeah, I just don't really see much of a point to do that to be honest. I mean, I'm a huge fan of Kingdom Hearts, don't get me wrong, you know, that's that's not going to change anytime soon, but... But it's, I would have gone for the PS... If I never got the Kingdom Hearts games... Ah, damn it. I was talking. If I never got the Kingdom Hearts games, then, obviously... This, this is why I got it to the PS4, because I never got it for the PlayStation 3, so that's why. That's literally the reason why, so yeah, there was really like no point. Uh, I use quick pockets. Like the, um, I got The Last of Us for the, um, for the, uh, PS4 because I never got it for the PS3. That's the only reason I got them for. If I already got it for the PS3, then I'm not going to bother getting it again. It just seems like a waste of time to me. But again, that's just what I think. Uh, well, I guess I'll use some uh, healing water here. Yeah, 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 kill me. So, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to really get it, guys. I'm going to get um, 2.8, because, sure, the H it's not just for the H2E Master of the 3DS version of the game. It's also going to the whole new game in there. So, yeah. 
PS2, the PS3, I don't mind, but PS3, the PS4, I just didn't see the point. Oh uh, yeah, that um, that move pretty much kills you automatically. Like there's no way around it. You're just gonna get killed. I think it even bypasses um, death proof. So yeah. All right. Okay. Right, going to get to Riku's turn. So that's great. I'm not gonna bother using a holy water. You're not holy water. Yeah, I'm not gonna bother um, using. Uh, I mean, healing water, because we're going to die anyway. So, once again, it's the same. It's been Mr. Strategy. Just make sure at least we can a turn before he's overdrive, but that should be the case of our speed. And uh, Anima is quite slow, she's not that quick. There we are. Let's so just rinse and repeat. Yep, yep, here we are. I do wish there was a way to make these animations faster with the Dark Aeons, but they're always like this. This isn't like the Aeons that we have, we can have a short version of it. Oh, and one more thing I forgot to even talk about. In the PS4 version of the game, you probably noticed about the music, it's exactly the same as the PS2 version. Well, in the PS4 version of this game, it did add one other thing besides the transfer of data. You can have your choice of either having the arranged music or the original. And I'm not going to lie, the original does sound much better to me. It just sounds so much better. Which is why I kept it in this. At the beginning of the game, it gives you a choice to do it, which is awesome. So that really helps out. Yeah. I think that's one reason why I also didn't like the PS3 version, because music, when it comes to RPG, is very important. Just for long battles like this. <laughs> there we go. Alright, once again, Mega Elixir. There we are. Nice. And the uh, tech wheels. Ah, damn it. Alright, my. I'm gonna screw up that one. Yeah. Look, okay, there's no time there or anything or stuff like that. And I have more than enough healing and I can just surf to help. It just. This becomes really long and drawn out and boring. That's the annoying thing here. I'm kind of glad I have two people's ribbons now. So that means I only have to heal one person. And let's see, uh, remedy. Yeah. And just attack. But it's going to take some time. I think mean, the only reason this battle can actually be tough is because you might lose your concentration from doing the same things over and over again. You can make a mistake which could cost you. Yeah, it can happen. Yes, it can. Here we are. Overdrive time. Uh, attack wheels. Hmm. Actually, I think if I'm going to use healing water, we use mega mega mega. Ugh. Make a Gravitron again. Damn it! If it uses that Mega Gravitron again, I might just use the Mega Potion instead. Is this is how I do some light concentrate. I'm just going to shut up for that part and just concentrate on the fields because, yeah, I don't want this battle to go any longer than I need it to do. And I'll use a Mega Potion. Yeah, I'll just do that instead. I just not waste my um, waters. Okay, and quick pockets again, and a uh, remedy. Yeah, stuff like quick pockets, this is the international version of the game. They weren't in like the uh, original one. And let's see. Uh, Use healing water. All right, time for a few quick hits. Yeah, I'm gonna curse the memory too. I'm probably using cricket quite a lot.
There we go. I knew I just be quiet for that part. <laughs> but it's true, I could use Ultra Neural Ward to increase my stats slightly if I wanted to. Since I'm gonna die anyway, I don't switch for points. I don't mind doing my hyper my G for well pain for the obvious reasons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh. So it's percentage. That's good to know. If that's the case, they're not gonna bother healing then. Man, we don't even need the waters. Hmm. Hmm. Uh yeah, I'm use my overdrive here. He's about to get full, so don't take any chances. Here we go. Yeah, I might just flip his overdrive actually. It's almost full anyway. Then it's use Oblivion. <sighs> but at least I finally done with that sphere grid nonsense. Oh, that just goes straight straight to the now we just continue on the game now, normally for the most part. The only time I get back to the arena now is probably just a grind for healing items, like healing authors and all that stuff. I don't think the only time I'm probably going to do that. But yeah, the last Dark Eye on Dark Bahamut, yeah, I'm saving that guy for last. You know, he's still has quite a bit of health, not as much as this guy, but he has an annoying gimmick. <sighs> Where basically, every time you hit him five times, he counters with impulse, and also that there's like full break in the whole party. And also it can turn you all to stone. Yeah. That's the other reason why I have stone proof as well. It sucks so much. It's so annoying. Because in the fact it's such a long fight with Dark Rahamu, but you have to count the turns, you have to use your attacks on. It doesn't count if you counter though, but if you just attack with cricket or swing, that, that actually counts, but it's so annoying. Oh, pain. This is gonna kill someone in one hit. Dang it. I wish it was Riku. Wait, I can improvise. I can give that to... No, 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 I can do that. This is done. Just quick hit. But yeah, you're going to be spending quicker quite a lot here. Ah, here we go. Which sure I could also use um, Tudis' overdrive as well. It's much easier to do compared to Wacker's. But overall damage wise, it's makes sense to use Wacker's one. <sighs> Man. <sighs> it is nice he actually counters attacks every time, so that's a good thing to know. Uh, 
Nah, not gonna bother with healing, uh... Ah, give me a Vantidote. Not a zombie, there's no point in that. Nope, not yet. He's almost there though. Almost. Ah, oh, dang it. Ugh. I hate curse. Alright, I'll go again. No, 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 what am I doing? Yeah, there's no point. Yeah, because no one's overdrive is full. I'm just wasting my time there. Yeah, screw, he's gonna die anyway. That's the overdrive. So, uh, yeah. Alright, let's do this real quick. Then I'm just gonna keep hitting you over and over again. Until you do overdrive. And that's the only thing to watch out for, we really. just calculate when his overdrive is going to be and if he's going to, when his turn comes, he's going to use overdrive straight away. There we are. If I do somehow screw up the life of my HG, I could just cast auto life for myself. Oh, yeah, that's because, um... Of auto region. Doesn't matter though. There you are. Just always with the auto life. Always, always. But yeah, it we have the long haul guys, this is not exactly going to be a uh, sure thing. Oh! Oh wow, you have closed the fill when you're cursed? Ah, oh, I didn't think of that. Dang it. Ah uh, yeah, I should have got a bit of cursed then. It was my fault there. Doesn't matter, I got auto life, that's the important thing. There we go. And another mega elixir. Yeah. Mm, make a garbage on. Okay. And. Pickpockets, and uh, when we do. Here we are. Huh, maybe it is better to people who have a ribbon, at least. I mean, if I waste my time getting rid of status effects on two people, it's gonna get boring. Hmm. I didn't think we like that actually. And then trust. There you go, Waka. Always keep your cruiser dry full when it is full. Because, in case, uh, just in case, don't just give it to Waka. It seems tempting, but don't. She's the lifesaver of the group. Go oh, man, get the timing all screwed up again. Make this fight even more longer. Hmm. 
Ooh, which eye is maybe getting a bit full there. Uh, hmm. Oh! Oh! Oh, he's dead! Ugh, finally! Jeez. Oh, Thank goodness. There. Yeah. Long but boring. And that's that done. But yeah, that's why you need Mega Mixes. Hopefully you should have got quite a few by now. <laughs> but yeah, here we are. Not tough, just boring. That's the fight. And because it gets so monotonous, doing it over and over again, you might lose the concentration and forget to use Hyper Mighty G and it pretty much screws you over. So yeah. But not tough, just kinda of like boring. The last Dark Air we're gonna do now, which is Dr. Hammett, is something you have to keep on your toes, yeah. Ugh, far more frustrating than what you have to do with that guy. But I but we got with Dark with Dark Animal gone there. Dark Hammett is the last one. Hmm, is any good? Not really. <laughs> but make sure that if you are going to Dark Hammett, that you used to have two people with uh, stone proof. Very important. If you don't have ribbon, then stone proof is the next best thing for Bahamut. But yeah, definitely important that one. If you can't be bothered to get a third ribbon like me, because <laughs> let's be honest, it'll take a small eternity. <laughs> But, uh, yep. Yeah. Oh, there we go. One more Dark Iron remains. Dark Mohammed. And he is also going to be pretty long too in his own right. But, yeah. We're almost done now. Almost. <laughs> but with that, here's Master Room 347. The game ties to RJ the Platformer. Stay classy.